Hey, good morning, good morning, everyone. I have a word to share with you to encourage your heart this morning. You know, I was thinking about how, you know, we were made with a terrible capacity to live out life in our own strength. You know, as a result, we see in both scripture and our lives incredible failures, examples of our collective weakness played out before our very eyes. We see it in the declining morality of society. We see it in the very lives of those around us that just can't seem to get it all together. You know, weakness seems to be threaded into the very fabric of our world. The world that is plagued by weakness of those who inhibit it. You know, but, you know, the Bible also contains incredible stories of victories of God's people. The list goes on and on. Moses and the Egyptians, David and Goliath, Samson and the Philistines, and the early church spreading the gospel across the world despite insurmountable odds. And along with all the stories of victory, Scripture also contains many stories of failure. So the question is, what made the difference? What separated the stories of success from the stories of failures? The truth is, the difference is found in the people of God allowing God to be their strength. You know, success in Scripture came solely when God was made strong in man's weakness. You know, God created us. He knows our weakness. He knows, as the Bible says in John 15, 5, that apart from him, we can do nothing. But the beauty of the gospel is that as believers, we no longer live apart from him. Through the death of Jesus, we are now one with Christ, wrapped up in his story of redemption. We have been saved from hell having to do life on our own, in our own strength. Our Heavenly Father promises His strength for you today, just as He worked to help Paul spread the gospel, just as He helped David slay the giant Goliath. He desires to help you today in whatever lies ahead. So acknowledge your weakness, but at the same time, hold fast to the knowledge of the incredible strength of your heavenly Father. You know, Deuteronomy 31, 6 says, He will not leave you nor forsake you. The strength of God is always with you as a follower. All you have to do is choose His ways over your own. Live in the light of the revelation of your own weakness and God's strength, and you will experience the power of the creator of the universe working directly in and through your life. Well, guys, just a quick word to encourage your heart. If that's where you are today, if you're weak and need strength, rely on God to carry you through your situation. I hope you have an amazing day. Know that I love you guys, and I'm praying for you.